If you've been following UFOs in the news, you're likely well acquainted with Luis Elizondo. By most accounts, Elizondo led the government's UFO data gathering program, ATIP, from 2008 until 2017, when he quit in protest of the government's not taking his program's findings seriously. After resigning, he joined with other former government officials and rock star Tom DeLonge to publicize the non-classified evidence of unexplained phenomena. To date, the Navy Fleur videos and David Fravor's Tic Tac UFO testimony. Many take what Elizondo says with a grain of salt, and for good reason. The counterintelligence community of which he is a part of has a very sordid past with the ufology community. But when you hear Elizondo talk, it's hard not to take him at his word. He sounds sincere, and it seems clear that he has been privy to evidence that is yet to meet the light of day. So when he alludes to the nature of this elusive, unexplained phenomena, as he did in a recent interview with Andy McGrillen on That UFO Podcast, we should take note. Think of a cigarette or a cigar. That parts of the cigar that have already burnt or the cigarette that have already burnt to ash is the past. That part of the cig cigarette or cigar that has not yet burned is the future. And the cherry, that moment of ignition, that spark of where the future is now beginning consumed and becoming the past, that is the present. And we as human beings, we live at that moment. All of our hopes, our fears, our memories, love, hate, good, bad, all that is an expression of, of an experience that occurs um, at an infinitesimally small moment of space time. Like I said, probably measured in playing time. That is how we, 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 we experience the present. But what if there were things that had the ability to experience where, where the present was a much bigger cherry, if you will, a much bigger transition where more elements of the future and the past are experienced as in the present. You know, when you look at that cigarette or cigar burning, you'll notice that it never burns evenly. When you look at it up close and you can kind of remove the glare and the flare from the from the burn, we, we realize that that there are portions of the future of the portions of the cigar that haven't burned yet uh, behind portions of the cigar that already has burned. It's, it's not an even burn. This metaphor is quite thought provoking. After some reflection, I agree that we do perceive time unevenly. Our present moment peers into the future when we see something like a jar being tipped off a table. Almost without conscious thought, we become aware of the inevitable outcome of shattered glass and intercede to catch that cup before that future can materialize. You won't impress anyone making predictions involving gravity though. And Glimpses into the future that involve anything more complex are extremely inaccurate. But what if there was an entity that had knowledge of our universe on a complete and fundamental level? Such an entity could literally infer the future and the past from the present conditions. Instead of the small amount of uneven burning at the transition from past to present, it'd be as if they see the entire cigarette burning at once. This isn't a new idea. It goes back at least 200 years when noted early 19th century astronomer, physicist, and mathematician Pierre Simon Laplace introduced us to the Laplace demon. We may regard the present state of the universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future, an intellect which at a certain moment would know all forces that set nature in motion and all positions of all items of which nature is composed, if this intellect were also vast enough to submit these data to analysis, it would embrace in a single formula the movements of the greatest bodies of the universe and those of the tiniest atom. For such an intellect, nothing would be uncertain, and the future, just like the past, would be present before its eyes. In many ways, such an entity is the logical conclusion of a universe built on determinism, the concept that there is a direct cause behind every event. If you knew the entire state of the universe, you could walk back and forward the causal links to the distant past or distant future. Thus, if an intelligence, 
entity, or demon possessed perfect information about the state and rules of our universe, their thoughts wouldn't be guesses of what was or is yet to be, but instead entirely accurate projections of the future or the past. If the Laplace demon exists and chooses to interact with us, it would be in complete control. There would be no action we could take that would surprise the demon. It knows exactly how you would respond to any stimuli and exactly how your response would percolate to the rest of society. If the demon wanted to steer a lesser intelligence, us, towards a certain action or introduce themselves to us, it would know exactly how to ease us into it. Aggressively interacting with us would likely shatter our worldview and may have devastating effects on society. The first stages of their interaction with us may thus seem bizarre. We would likely not be able to connect the dots between the demon interacting with us and the rippling effects it has on society. But eventually the ripples would pile up to waves and we would then be ready for what the demon has in store for us. Is this happening to us right now? Many claim that the elusive phenomenon studied by Elizondo and Atip have been revealing themselves in just the right ways and moments to get the ball rolling. Could this slow roll of disclosure be driven not by shadowy government figures, but rather the phenomena itself? Perhaps. The concept of the Laplace demon is a bit to swallow, though. Complete knowledge of every atom in our universe seems an impossibility. And it is, according to the currently known rules of physics. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle tells us that the complete state of the universe is unknowable. But our rules only apply to the universe as we know it. And we know our rules are incomplete. Attempts at a complete theory of everything, such as string theory, often introduce concepts of extra-spatial dimensions. As beings that spend our lives in three spatial dimensions, trying to think in four or more is an exercise in futility. But one way to make a bit of sense is to think about how we interact with objects in lower dimensions. For example, think of a choose-your-own-adventure book. You can think of it as a collection of 2D pages arranged in order. When you read this book and are prompted with a choice, you can cheat and read ahead to see what is in store for you. You wouldn't really be locked into any choices you make, as you could flip back and forth as you wish. A higher dimensional being might thus be able to do the same with our three-dimensional universe, treating it as a 3D choose-your-own-adventure story. In that way, they could have complete knowledge of our universe in a way that transcends our current understanding of physics. Elizondo himself hints at this extra dimensionality of the phenomena, but I'm not convinced that such complete knowledge is necessary. If the cigarette represents the entirety of time, from the Big Bang to the end of the universe, the Laplace demon would see it all at once. A lesser demon might not have this complete knowledge of the universe or its rules, but may still be magnitudes more intelligent than us. Perhaps, as we seem to have an intuitive grasp of classical mechanics, such as gravity and inertia, an advanced intelligence may have an intuitive grasp of the inner workings of quantum mechanics. As such, their present burns brighter. Their streaks of ignition run further into the past and into the future. If the burning region of their cigarette completely overlaps ours, such an intelligence would likely be indistinguishable from a true Laplace demon. Such an intelligence isn't that hard to imagine either. Imagine if the entirety of humanity were linked with light speed telepathic communication and we experienced a hive mind or Borg-like existence. Such a possibility seems far off, but plausible. If this happens, would we be 7 billion times more intelligent? It's hard to say. We'd all be running the same hardware, but
but we would have 7 billion times more points of data. If all of humanity really was experiencing the world as one, we likely could project what the future would look like given our collective action with incredible accuracy. Now, imagine the capabilities of a large network of intelligence running hardware with quantum intuition instead of classical. If there really is such an intelligence interacting with us, I hope they are benevolent. Personally, it makes intellectual sense to me that if an entity is visiting us from afar or has coexisted with us without our knowledge, it likely would be intellectually superior to us such that it would appear as a god or as a Laplace demon. The notion of such an intelligence accurately predicting my own actions, let alone the collective actions of society, doesn't quite sit well with me though. What do you think? Are unexplained phenomena the bizarre but premeditated actions of a higher intelligence? Is something that appears equivalent to the Laplace demon even possible? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. McGrillen's full interview with Luis Elizondo is episode 27 of That UFO Podcast. I encourage you all to check that and the rest of his podcast out. It's chock full of great guests and discussions. And if you're still watching and haven't yet subscribed, please do and join me as I continue to explore the un and under known. And of course, thanks for watching Rather Be Squitting.